Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, back to the sextant. What we're going to do now, where did I put, there it is. This piece that goes in right here is called the horizon mirror. This piece that goes up here on the index arm is called the index mirror. See how they name those things, you see? Index mirror, horizon mirror. Um, the parts that we're punching out of our template are the E2 and, excuse me, E1 and F1. E1 and F1, you got one, two, three, four pieces of each one, keep them together. As a matter of fact, let's just punch out E1 first. <clears throat> we're gonna, you all are gonna, re, re, you're gonna see a pattern here. You're gonna remember the pattern because we got four pieces and we're gonna pancake them together so that you've got one, two, three, and four. And you notice I do a dry fit every time. I've got the two white pieces in the middle. It's kind of like an Oreo. We didn't realize that last night, did we? Ooh, I don't think I've done my work to stay on. So we got an Oreo. We got two white pieces. It's a double stuff too, because you got two whites inside the two blacks. It's okay to laugh if you want to, um, Kelly. <laughs> That's kind of funny. It's a double stuff Oreo. <laughs> Make sure that the blacks are gonna be on the outside. I'm gonna move our sexton out of the way so that when I glue, I don't get glue on it. And I've got my purple glue out. I've got a new tool to help me glue. This piece of wood, it's kind of like a great big toothpick. I think I can slather up my Kind of do that with it. Bye. I got that on one piece of the white. Okay, now what are you going to do with your piece of wood while it's got glue all over one? Was that white? Yes, that's white. So I'm going to take that and put it on the other. And this one, this time, make sure they're lined up right. We can kind of scoot that glue around to make sure we get really good coverage. So I'm not staying underneath to where y'all can see. It'd help if we could see everything, clown. I can say that. It's weird doing this with no audience, with no kids. Hi, Hi River. How you doing, man? What's up, Silas? In the house. Carter, how you doing, partner? You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Yep. This one has got enough glue on it that some of it's squirting out. That way you get some glue on your hands, River. I know you enjoy that so much. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So that's the first pair. Take one of the black ones, see which side it fits on. That guy right there. <clears throat> get my glue. If something isn't making sense, Kelly, it's your job to tell me. Okay. If you've got a song, you could sing a song while I'm doing this. No um, pressure or anything. I could sing a song. Uh, you, you should have told me beforehand. I, I... See? When I think about what you just said, I immediately go into Carpenters. Sing, sing a song. Sing out strong. Sing a good thing. Y'all don't know this about me, do you? I now, hold, about, I now know how old you are. <laughs> when I was about your all's age, Karen and Richard Carpenter came to Knoxville, Tennessee, 
and that song has a a, a youth a, a, a you've heard it kelly the, the backup singers mm -hmm. the young backup singers kelly yeah when they came to knoxville they made some backup singers and i guess that um bogey is commenting on the sound quality but they came to knoxville and they needed backup singers <clears throat> and our little choir director of which she was my choir director. She was the wife of the band director at University of Tennessee. So through that connection, they said, do you know a good children's choir? And I don't know the lady's name. She said, sure, my students. So I'm gonna take this piece while we wait on that story. I've got the sandwich made. I got my double stuff Oreo made. I hope y'all are laughing at me. And I have found a stone, this is a stone uh, coaster, and that works really well as a weight for those guys. So I put the weight on so that we have weight on it while we wait. See what I did there with the words? I'm gonna punch out F2. And we do the same thing with, I'm sorry, F1. I'm seeing ones and I'm thinking twos. We did, E1 and now F1. Hold it, it's not in the screen. E1 was the first one, and now I just punched F1 out. And we're going to do the same process. We'll break it into its four pieces. We're going to dry fit that Oreo. Make sure that we got the double stuff working. Got the two in the middle. Got one on this side. Make sure that our black part points out, just like an Oreo cookie. Black part points out. I've got it dry fit. And Looking then we're ready good. to glue. Ready to glue. Okay, so now back to our story. <clears throat> so the carpenters were going to come to Knoxville, Tennessee and sing the concert, and they needed a backup choir. So they contacted the University of Tennessee's band director and he said, yes, my wife is a choir director. I wonder if they'd like to come. So my 15 minutes of fame happened many, many years ago where I got to go up on stage, me and I don't remember 10 or 12 other kiddos, and we got to sing back up to the carpenter. So now back to the song. My part was sing of good things, not bad. Sing of happy not sad yes y'all remember that so and some of you do some of your parents might um, yes yes that was me in knoxville tennessee up on stage we never actually got to meet the carpenters and i know it would have been a whole lot different these days with social media and everything but um they they gave us uh well we had front row seats because we were right up front and they gave us all programs, but they weren't even signed programs. I was like, really? Wow. But yeah, so my 15 minutes of fame happened early, early in life. So I got, I don't have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> so again, we got the double stuff of the white. We're now going to load it up on the black part of the Oreo cookie. How come you didn't make the Oreo cookie analogy last night, Kelly? Uh, you know, I, I think I'm looking at, I saw piano keys. Oh, you saw piano keys, huh? Yeah. Now, oops, can y'all see? I'm still, I, I like this. I like this wooden piece because it picks up the glue really well. Mm -hmm. And it's easy to put it where you want it. And you can kind of spread it out that way too. You can get it all the way up on the edges. That's the part that I was missing when I was doing it before was getting it right up on the edges. I bet y'all have already figured out how to do that in your all's world. But it was difficult in my world, as are a lot of things. Poor little old me. Life is difficult. <laughs> so we've got another Oreo cookie made. Make sure again, we're gonna keep them lined up. Oops, that one spun just a little bit on me. 
spin it again. I'm squeezing it to make sure that I get all of the extra glue squeezed out and then it slides a little bit when I squeeze it. So last thing I do is make sure they're lined up just like that. We want them to be real even edges. And then we put that piece under here and we put the weight on it so that we have weight on it while we wait on it. <laughs> that was good. The next thing we need to punch out, F2, F2, E2, or E3, E2, E3. F2, F2, Wait. okay, F2, F3. E2, E3? Um, E2, E3, those uh -huh. are those little triangular, with, they look like little screws in them too. Yeah. Flathead screws and F2, F3. Where do they go? Um, hold, hold, hold your horses. Okay. Oh, it's I know. It's a process. I know. I see it's that. It's a process. So they, that one's a little bit difficult to punch out there for some reason. Ginger we'll doesn't have one of those. You don't have F1, F2? She doesn't because Bogey ate it. Oh, is that the part that Bogey ate, huh? It is. Wow. So we got those two and those two. We're waiting on this. The next thing we need is our little bitty Ziploc bag with all of our parts and pieces in it. That's the one that has the film in it. And then the two mirrors, it's the part that has the metal in it. And it's the one that I'm frantically looking for right now because I am ill prepared. So if Kelly would be so kind as to stop recording.